This is Top Accolade Global News Update. I am Abiodun Mohammed. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken said during a trip to Turkey that Washington will support its ally for as long as it takes after earthquakes rocked the country two weeks ago. The United States has sent a search and rescue team to Turkey along with medical supplies, concrete breaking machinery and additional funding of $85 million in humanitarian aid that also covers Syria. Turkey stepped up work to clear away rubble from collapsed buildings on Monday as rescue work wound down two weeks after the major earthquakes killed more than 46,000 people in southern Turkey and northwest Syria. Turkey's Disaster and Emergency Management Authority, AFAD, said that nearly 13,000 excavators, cranes, trucks and other industrial vehicles had been sent to the quick zone. The death toll in Turkey had risen to 41,020, AFAD said and it was expected to climb with some 385,000 apartments in the country known to have been destroyed or seriously damaged and many people still missing. North Korea launched two more ballistic missiles off its east coast on Monday with the powerful sister of leader Kim Jong-un saying Pyongyang's use of the Pacific as its firing range would depend on the behavior of US forces. The launches come just two days after North Korea fired an intercontinental ballistic missile ICBM into the sea of Japan's west coast, prompting the United States to hold joint air exercises with South Korea and separately with Japan on Sunday. North Korea state media confirmed it fired two projectiles from a multiple rocket launch aiming at target 395 kilometers and 337 kilometers away respectively. Japan's defense ministry said the two missiles launched around 22 GMT reached a maximum altitude of about 100 kilometers and 50 kilometers and fell outside Japan's exclusive economic zone. Japanese Prime Minister Fumio Kishida said he had requested an emergency UN Security Council meeting over the test and newsmen confirmed the garden was set for 20 GMT on Monday. Tokham, the main border crossing between Afghanistan and Pakistan, has been closed with residents of the area reporting hearing gunfire near the normally bustling border transit point. It was not immediately clear whether Afghan or Pakistani authorities closed the Tokham border crossing near the Khyber Pass, but Monday's move comes after relations between Afghanistan's ruling Taliban and Pakistan deteriorated sharply. Mullah Mohammed Siddiq, a Taliban-appointed commissioner at Torkham, said Pakistan has not been abiding by its commitment, so the crossing point was shut down, the Associated Press reported. Siddiq advised Afghans to avoid traveling to the crossing located on Afghanistan's side in the country's eastern Nangaha province until further notice. Khalid Khan, a Pakistani police official, confirmed the border closure and what he described as intermittent exchanges of fire at Torkham located in Pakistan's northwestern Khyber Pakhtunkhwa province. Disputes linked to the 2,600 km border have been a bone of contention between the neighbors for decades. The Tok and border point is the main point of transit for travelers and goods between Pakistan and landlocked Afghanistan. The African Union has said that Israel's observer status at the bloc was suspended, which is why it was not invited to attend the weekend summit. The news comes after Israeli Ambassador Sharon Bali was removed from the African Union's annual summit in Ethiopia on Saturday as she attempted to attend using a non-transferable invitation issued only to Israel's ambassador to the African Union, Aleli Admasu. Video circulating on social media showed guards escorting Bali out of the AU Assembly Hall in the Ethiopian capital, Addis Ababa. A spokesperson for Israel's foreign ministry said Bali was an accredited observer with an entry tag and accused the AU of being taken hostage by a small number of extremist states like Algeria and South Africa, which are driven by hatred and controlled by Iran. The incident highlighted a spot within the Pan African bloc over a unilateral 2021 decision by Mohammed to give Israel observer status, triggering protests by several member states. Iran has denied it has intentionally enriched uranium to a purity of 84% amid ongoing issues with the global nuclear watchdog and disagreement over its 2015 nuclear deal. US-based financial news agency Bloomberg reported on Sunday that inspectors with the International Atomic Energy Agency IAEA had found uranium enriched to a purity of 84%, just below the 90% required for a bomb 
and are trying to determine if it was produced intentionally. This is the highest purity uranium ever found in Iran, which has gradually boosted its enrichment since 2019, one year after the unilateral withdrawal of the United States from its nuclear deal with world powers and has declared enrichment up to 60%. Iranian officials have said that they are not seeking a nuclear weapon. Behrouz Kamavandi, the spokesperson for the Atomic Energy Organization of Iran, told the state-linked fast news website late on Sunday that particles with a purity of higher than 60% had been found by inspectors but that had happened before and was nothing out of the ordinary. That is the size of Top Accolade Global News Update. You can follow us on our social media platforms as displayed on your screen. Happy New Week!